All right, Homer, let's see the left. <clears throat> okay. Let's see the right. <laughs> Just a second. When you're ready. It's been implied a couple of times on this channel that we're fight fans. One of the disciplines I like particularly is boxing. Not so long ago this small game just came on my radar. Despite the small scale of it, it still seems to have had some good advertising. They did have professional boxers like Canelo in their adverts. So far the project is only early access so there's a lot of features missing. So far you can do free fights, play online and do price fights. There's no career mode and the price fights are similar to the elusive targets in Hitman, where you get to fight actual matchups that happened. However, you can try them only for a limited time, once a day for a week, instead of being a one and done. If we talk about the game itself, the mechanics are similar to Fight Night. It has been a while since I played those games, but I can tell you that the way punches are delivered is similar. You can use the face buttons to punch or the stick. However, you don't need to simulate the motion. Right stick to the left will do a left hook for example. You have blocks to the head and the body. Blocks to the head can lead to blocks to the body if you lean the stick in the right direction, so you don't need to uncover your head, but you have to react on time. There's also the option to change the southpaw and switch to a better moving stance. That stance leads to more knockouts to you and your opponent. Now the big issue is that despite all these options, the best thing is to just walk up to people and do power punches, so anything that isn't a jab. Not that the long range options don't matter, but it's all about the body shots, especially as a counter. It's really specific, the AI doesn't attack the head, it just walks up to you and hits you in the body. The difficulties are also a big factor into this weird AI. Scripts get really precise, you have this impression that the overall difficulty doesn't simply increase, they also fall into weird patterns. There are four difficulties. On the lower two, the other boxers will be purely defensive. They only back up. It's on Pro and I heard that they actually try to fight you. However, they're still the same problem. They only try to hit the body until they deplete your stamina and then they knock you down or go for the knockout to the head. It's frustrating, on the lower difficulties they wait on you to do perfect counters. Higher difficulties are a bit more fair because they're not just waiting for you to commit a mistake, they open up themselves, but you can never hope to knock out your opponent. As soon as they're low on stamina they back up, which is a sound tactic, but unlike you they don't seem to have the same speed, they're way faster. No matter what you'll do, you'll have this impression that none of your counters work. You can never capitalize on their mistakes because the AI seems to rubber band and always make sure that you can never catch up to them and hit where it counts. Stats don't seem to matter, at least for them. Boxers have a different feel, of course. Heavyweights are definitely slower and people with longer limbs need to adjust the range. But again, body shots. The game doesn't care, doing more rounds seems to have an effect on this behavior. The counters and the body shots are not as numerous, and the fights are more equal. It feels like an actual fight and not just artificial intelligence cheesing you. Landing power shots helps, that's a detail that I missed the first time around, but the other boxer will still have the upper hand by pulling out knockouts out of their asses, whatever the difficulty. Everything else in the game is pretty neat, the music, the commentary, the venues, but again, it's early access. A lot of things have not been licensed. There's also things that are weird by virtue of being early, like reflections looking bad. It's a product that I recommend, but there is a level of frustration. I can say that I've been more consistent with my wins and I did manage to get a knockdown finally. Now I can end this video without any controversy. Female boxing sucks, I truly believe it. I don't need to justify myself, you know it and say otherwise because you're trying to be politically correct. Can female fighters be entertaining? Yes, I do love myself some warrior women can fight. I believe into developing your opposite side to achieve balance. Women will always be feminine, but even a woman should undergo physical hardships 
and learn to express her violence. It also comes in handy if any male feminist gets into the kitchen. You want to achieve revenue with your female fighters? Look no further than 1FC, an MMA organization founded in 2013. They also have Muay Thai and kickboxing. The girls of 1FC start at an early age for cultural reasons. These orientals are big on fighting. By the time they're adults, they're masters of their craft. It also helps that they have great personalities and the outfits of female fighters in MMA and kickboxing is generally more appealing. Look at Ronda, despite her flaws, she still tried to retain an air of femininity alongside her strength. Female boxers start old and are either soccer moms or butch lesbians who keep complaining about something something wage something. Nobody cares. I'd like to remind you that other women don't watch them and don't tell me it's internalized mahogany. So what do you have to say in your defense girls? Female boxing is just a badly advertised product that needs a revamp. Until then it won't attract. If female fighters in the UFC can headline, you know it's not about being a woman. The UFC even had a Brazilian lesbian as a headliner. You can't get more diverse. If you can overcome those flaws, it will be able to make up for the physical limitations of women. Don't forget that they have less power, speed and coordination. The lower classes of men had this problem for years. Heavyweights are the darling for a reason. The 125 pound division in boxing and MMA is not getting traction for a reason. It's just a matter of being appealing. At the end of the day, promoters only care about their bottom line and fans about their entertainment.